Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to take a still photo, like you see right here, and animate that photo so that it looks like the person is talking. You've probably seen these in political videos. Uh, if you'll watch down here, you'll see how this effect works. And you see it looks like that person is talking, even though it's a still photo. Creating that effect in Sony Vegas is extremely easy to do. Now, this works in Sony Vegas Pro. I don't know if you can do this in Sony Movie Studio. I'll show you how to do it. First of all, I'll take your still photo and bring it up on the timeline, just like that. And then put uh, the same still photo right below it on another video track so that you have the same photo twice on the timeline. And then on the top track, select the event pan and crop. And on event pan and crop, come down to uh, right where it says position and select mask. So we're going to draw a mask. We're going to select the anchor creation tool for the mask, which is right there. And we're going to draw a mask right around the lips and the lower jaw. That's just the part that would be moving when a person was talking. There's our mask there. Now so we can see what it looks like when we move it, I'm going to change my preview screen so we can see the mask right there. And then we're going to go into position mode. I'm just going to click this link right there. I want to make sure that we've got enough Al Gore on the screen. Now in the position mode what will happen is that when we move this screen down here we'll see how that mask covers up our hides his mouth. So you can see that if we move it just like that, it looks like his, his lips are closed. That's a pretty good position and what we're going to do is we're going to make that a, a keyframe on our timeline. And to do that we just put it where we want it and hit plus. And then the position where his mouth is all the way open is right there. We're going to make that a keyframe on the timeline. Again we hit plus. So now we've got one that where his mouth is open, which is there. And we have one where his mouth is closed, which is there. And all we need to do now is make copies of these throughout the frame. So we'll take the one where his mouth is open, click copy, and we'll just paste that or every few seconds or every few frames here. And what we're doing is we're pasting keyframes where his mouth is open. Now we want to go back and copy this keyframe where his mouth is closed. We want to paste it between every one of the ones where his mouth is open. What we're creating is an opening and closing effect. We can adjust the timing of this just by moving those keyframes around. Let's end it with his mouth closed. Okay, now when we play that, this is what you're going to see right here. Let's play this little bit of timeline we've got there. And if you watch down here, you'll see what it looks like, what our results look like. That's how easy it is to animate a mouth. Now, when you do the masking, you'll probably want to get a little bit more precise mask than I had right there, just so that it looks good. But you can see it's a pretty neat effect, easy to do in Sony Vegas. Again, this works in Sony Vegas Pro. I'm not sure if it works in Sony Movie Studio or not. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.